So you all read the title, you know what this is. Um, I have been quite excited for it because I've been on the mailing list for a while. They just came out with the product. I had to pick it up at a delivery spot uh, nearby. So this is, um, this is Noma's Mushroom Garum. Garum, if you don't know what it is, it's um, an ancient Roman fish sauce. If you look at old ancient recipes of how to make your typical, you know, Roman fish sauce, it's really uh, the innards of fish, so fish insides, fish blood, um, kind of the scraps like fish head, and it's usually from fatty or like smaller types of fish, and then they'll they'll mix it with some salt, and then they'll just ferment it for a really long time, and then you get this uh, saltiness that is you know better than salty because it's it's going to be like fish sauce, right? So people either loved it or they hated it. So according to one historian, he said it was an exquisite liquid which was so pleasant that it could be drunk. Uh, while another uh, elder statesman described it as a poisonous fish which burns up with the stomach with its putrefaction. Of course, uh, Noma, Rene Redzepi, if you're into that kind of stuff, she does a lot of the science and the fermentation and uh, just using like ingredients of the land and uh, really making, you know, uh, very cool uh, gastronomy products. Uh, it's the first of its kind, so it's really quite unique. Um, the packaging is It's like, it's like an iPhone. It has uh, you have your house right here, packaging, and then um, right there, Noma project up top. You have your mushroom garum, a smoked mushroom garum on the bottom. So if you go onto the Noma website, how they, uh, how they said that they made this is essentially they had some smoked brown mushrooms that they mix with some salt, some water, and then some koji. And so koji, where we've heard that is, it's this starter that they put on top of rice and usually it'll be used for uh, things like sake or making miso uh, and also like things like soy sauce as well, like fermented uh, soy sauce. So I think that maybe Noma kind of saw that and uh, got inspired by this. I mean, I'm quite hopeful for this because if anybody can do it, then, then Noma can. Um, and so, yeah, let me just get some stuff to try it out with. All right, good. So um, I have my bowl of rice here, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take a shot of this <laughs> uh, to start off with. Um, just a little bit. It was, it was actually quite pricey. And then to send it was really uh, equally as pricey, so. Interesting. Um, it smells like, it actually smells like soy sauce. And then you can definitely smell like um, mushrooms, like the sweetness of mushroom and the sweetness and the smoothness of mushroom. I sound so pompous. <laughs> I wish I had a pipette before and I, and I didn't um, now. So wait, should I shake it? Does, does it settle? Does it, am I supposed to do that? Hold on. Um, and then this sauce, they say once you open it, you have to use it within three months. I am not sure uh, if, I, if I can do that, and I'm not sure if, uh, how bad it will go in three months. So uh, those who have it and are not sure, I would maybe uh, I'd freeze this, I think. That might be nice, and keep it in an airtight container. Yeah, all right. So shake it up a bit. So... Okay, so I'm just gonna try that. Straight. <laughs> yeah, so it, it very much tastes like a mushroom type soy sauce. It, it starts off very much, it, it is very much like a mushroom soy sauce. It starts off salty like soy sauce. And then in between, there is some like 
like a slight funkiness, but just very, very little, very little funkiness. So nothing, um, nothing quite too extreme like, uh, like fish sauce, like it, it wouldn't have that effect. Uh, but then it finishes off with like a nice, um, definitely like a smoky mushroom flavor. So all together, uh, very much like a mushroom, mushroom soy sauce. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Let, let's just try it with some rice first. You know what I really wish is like um, if they had like a better pour or like a, a thing with like a pipette that you could put in, which would be very much on brand with Noma, right? Uh, to make it easier because when you pour it, uh, it's hard because sometimes it pours down the side and because this is uh, fairly uh, a pricey <laughs> uh, mushroom garum, it would make sense that, that they fix the packaging a little bit. Okay, short grain rice. I only poured in a little bit. I think I should pour in a bit more. Okay. Oh. Now some of it's off to the side again. I mean, it's nice. I definitely think like the smoked mushroom flavor is there. It is like a liquid seasoning, almost like a, like a liquid aminos. It, it tastes very much like that, has that little, little bit of funkiness. And then it ends with like a nice kind of um, uh, smoked mushroom flavor. It's, it's still quite mellow. Like it's not overpowering or anything. Um, and so, yeah, very much, I would use it very much like a mushroom soy sauce. What do I think? What are my final thoughts? And of course I will be using this sauce to make some of um, Noma's recommended, uh, I think they have two vegan recipes. One is a vegan uh, curry that uses the garum, and then one was the vegan um, ramen that uses the mushroom garum as well. So stay tuned for those videos. So what are my thoughts on the mushroom garum? Um, okay, so I, I think because, I mean, I've been following Noma for years and obviously watching all of like Renee's documentaries and whatnot, um, I know the work that they put into it and I know like the whole development and, and you know, fermentation and all of that. Uh, so I think what I was, I don't know what I was expecting, but I really missed fish sauce. So I was really expecting something that was like, like bam, like, you know, um, e even though I wasn't expecting it to, to be like fish sauce because it was made from mushrooms, but I wish that there was more funk, more of a kick. Like I wish that it was as close to fish sauce as possible, but with mushrooms. Um, that being said, like the sauce is not bad, right? Um, it does taste very much like liquid aminos with some mushroom flavor. It does taste like a kind of like a mushroom soy sauce. I'm still happy that I tried it because I'm always really excited for uh, what they create over there. And I think it's super, super cool. All of the um, research that they're doing and, and the experiments that they're doing with food that, you know, a normal home or a normal person can't do. So I th still think it's really cool. I'll definitely still be making um, some of the Noma recipes that, that were recommended on the site as well to try uh, with you all. All. but uh, yeah let me know if you were on the mailing list as well like if you also received uh, this this mushroom garum and and what you think because I think like everybody's taste buds are different so maybe like mine I'm just more like I, I want that like kicker I want that punch but maybe for some other people uh, this is actually like quite strong so uh, yeah like let me know let me know your thoughts um, and yeah I will be back uh, with those recipes and um, I will see you all again soon <laughs> all right bye